What's good, Giza gang? I hope everyone is feeling absolutely brilliant today. It's a bit of a dreary day out there, let's be fair. Depends where you are in the world, I guess. Do you know what? That's not deterring us, because we're inside, so it's nice and warm here. Today we've got a nice, fun day. A lot of you have heard and know, especially from Jojo's video about 10 facts, that he does modeling, and some actually people have said, well, why doesn't he model ethics clothing? Well, that's happening today. We've got kids' clothes coming, and we've got to go up to Burton. Tim, you know about Tim, Tim Sheaf, his sister's a photographer. She has a daughter who's friends with Jojo as well, and those two are going to model the clothing today so it's going to be fun we're going to start there just for one night we say we're never going to go away again but you know i just love that these opportunities come about that require our travel so we can still do stuff on the road and here's katie and what, what have you got there katie <laughs> Food from last night. Those of you who've seen the previous vlog, we got way too much food. But this is a great thing. I love, there's something really nice about having that food the next day as well. Most people don't have it in the morning. Yeah, but we, we, we do. Yeah, who does it? Okay, look, look we're, we're, we're gonna have the nose on our side here. Comment below, do you like having food the next day? And also, like food from the night before, but also, do you like having it in the morning? As the first thing, I think it also it depends what it is because yeah, Chinese is a Chinese popular one. is yeah. popular in the morning if, and <laughs> pizza is popular in the morning. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I think. oh right, right, right. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go into levels here. So, do you have it the next day? Uh, do you have it first thing in the morning? Is it only Chinese or is it pizza or is it something else? Let me know like, below. You, you wouldn't have a curry the next morning, would you? I would have a cup. We've had a curry the next day. We've had everything. And Jojo's got us prepared for our trip today with some entertainment. Yeah. We've got Othello, Scrabble, and chess. Oh, and really? Jojo is just a long haired head round the corner. He had his hair done this morning. We uh, gave it a brush and everything. It actually wasn't that bad. He wanted to keep it wavy forever, but he, we said no. You have yeah. to have it washed. <laughs> He's saying as well. He's saying that maybe he might want it cut, but not really short. Sure. He is said he? he wants it like shoulder length. When did you say that this morning? In the bath, yeah. I think what it is, is because it's been a few weeks since he's had his hair brushed and washed and everything because of the cornrows. That feeling of the hair, uh, brush going through the hair. He was saying to me about it and then he was like, well, would it make it better if we got it cut? What, like, all off? And he goes, no, just a little bit. And I was like, okay, maybe, I'll, we'll look at it, so. What would you guys think about it? Some of you guys, when he got the cornrows, were like, thank goodness he didn't get it cut. But he's saying about shoulder length, he was saying. Because I said, do you want it as short as daddy's? And he was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay. But at the same time, why? what's wrong with my hair? At the end of the day, let him do what he wants. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. He was saying also that he wanted his hair dyed green. Dyed green? Yeah. Oh, wow, that'd be interesting. That's the thing, why should we deny him that, though? Green's his favourite colour. So. Green is a wicked colour, though. Comet Blue, what's your favourite colour in? Here we go. My goodness. It doesn't look very appealing, does it? But it will taste good. It's food it. that we've been gifted. We're very fortunate to have food in general. Some people around the world don't have food. I'd rather have it for breakfast and let it go to waste. That's something, pretty much, that we've always really cared about, is just not wasting food. I think there's a statistic that over half of the world's food is wasted. And also also the stuff that they can't sell because it goes out of date and also if you had a funny shaped banana or something. Yeah. There are a few good schemes to help resolve this, but I think the responsibility is always going to lie with the consumer, so we try and do the best we can. And we've never really ever let food go to waste, do we? I'm doing the best I can now. Yeah, we're doing the best I can. Let us do the best we can. We're getting ready to get out the door now. That food was really nice, by the way. <laughs> it was really, really nice. It didn't seem that much there. Like, seeing it last night, it seemed like a lot. I guess that's your perception when your stomach's full or empty. Though. So yeah, we're going to get out, head up to Burton. It's a couple hours drive. Get some editing done and other bits done while Katie drives. I'm liking this arrangement. I'm liking it a lot. Garrett Pinky is nestled nicely in my bag. We're on the road, heading through the land of Dun, London. And as you may have already heard, there is a very annoying sound in the back. Katie, that's right, I'm throwing you in there. Packed one bowl, two forks and one spoon. So we can have like cereal and things like that yeah. in the morning. She was also planning a pot noodle fest. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, that give me that. You feel like you missed out because you couldn't steal your son's one. Um, can we go to Wembley Stadium? We're not going to Wembley Stadium, no. You want to see some football? Yeah. One day, if you want to go there, mate, I'll take you. But yeah, Katie put all the cutlery in a bowl and it is rattling like mad now. And after five minutes, I was like, do you want me to quickly go in the back and talk? She's like, nah, I'll be fine. It wasn't going that crazy at that point. Now it's just really, it's really going for it. Do you, know, well, do you know what he said? Drive erratically. So, yeah, it tips, drive erratic. so it tips over. So the bowl tips over and they all fall out. Well, that was your suggestion. You said it won't be so bad because it'll probably fall out of the bowl. If anything, it sounds like it's cozier in the bowl. I, at least I knew you were joking. Yeah, I was joking. Of course I'm not going to encourage you to drive erratically. Yeah, they might think that you were being serious. <laughs> like he's silly, but that's too silly. So we just made a quick stop off. We uh, stopped at a service station. Jojo's got a nice little veggie subway there haven't you? I'll be honest with you guys I am for the first time a bit anxious I'm not gonna make five o'clock today for this video so if I did I didn't I apologize
apologise. I'm not going to apologise if I did. Katie's going to get some chips. You need a rest as well. She's been driving a lot recently, and so we had to recharge things and everything. Been doing it proper tight today. Could have been a bit more organised, but these are lessons to learn doing daily vlogging, and they're good lessons. They're lessons I enjoy. So thank you for always watching and inspiring me to keep doing this and plugging away and putting the time in. Daddy, busy as usual. So you're not going to get the video out on time. I don't know. <laughs> This is fun to use, isn't it? I'm sure we get out on time. <laughs> Doing the best, man. Like a little bit faster, like the flash. To be honest, even the flash wouldn't be able to do it fast enough because the computer's got to keep up. Yeah. What happens when you know your DC comics and superheroes better than your kid? Is that nice, Daddy? Oh, oh no! Huh? I cut my finger! Oh, oh no! Don't, don't worry, it's just my muscles. Oh, you tricked me. Yeah, tricked me. <laughs> we got to go to your photo shoot and Ben and Holly can't come with us. Sorry guys. It's only humans, not elves and fairies. Jojo, we're here. Are you excited to see Faith? Yeah. Daddy, you excited? Uh, yes. Also nervous. <laughs> getting the video done i'm just i'm I'm, I'm into this and i'm committed and I'm shut, up, shut up shut up we don't want to hear your emotional Get out, <laughs> garbage car now. Oh, garbage how dare you jojo's just seen faith and then he's just run off As they <laughs> yeah. we better go in. so the photo shoot's underway this is exactly what we're talking about <laughs> jojo faith do you reckon we could get some photos done so jojo we're going to do the t-shirt now aren't we yeah you've been enjoying yourself a lot haven't you you've been very silly but also we've got some good photos so in a minute it'll be your turn to go in and mummy is just doing me a favor and checking the video i finished the edit probably not going to make it for five o'clock so i would apologize now for you guys yesterday if you were waiting around for that i appreciate your patience nonetheless still going to put it out today it's just going to be later you'll find a door frame and you'll climb it won't you yeah now faith is doing the same oh she's trying to do sign this you're two looking good i'm looking straight at the camera So kids photo shoots all done, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That was quite interesting. I don't know what we expected, but as soon as they got together, they just started messing around. It's, it's so interesting with kids, they don't need much encouragement because those two have only met once and it was at Ninja Warrior and it was like they were sat in rows in front of each other. So they didn't get much chance to play or do anything. But as soon as they saw each other, they just, you know, they don't need any encouragement to play. Jojo's done modeling loads of times, but yeah. he's never done it with a friend. No, yeah, that's a good point. Mm. Yeah. So we are on the road. Oh, he did, well, you did well, Jojo. Yeah, mate, you did really really good because we look back at some of the photos in a bit more detail afterwards and yeah they look really good can't wait to get up on the site in fact if you go onto the website now ethics.com those hoodies and tees are available we've got them in three to four five to six seven to eight nine to eleven twelve to fourteen all different kids ages not babies i'm afraid they didn't have them available what if they're sold out by the time this <laughs> yeah it could be we're going to probably we've had a lot of people asking so i'd say get there quick they may be sold out but we're probably going to get more in afterwards but yeah jojo did we're really happy with how he did hopefully tim's going to pay him well for this. How do you feel Jojo? Good. And like Daddy said, the baby ones have come out. They came out in 1998. Didn't they Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> On to the hotel. Change of plan, going snacks, then travel lodge. I I'm blind. I'm daredevil. What you got for breakfast in the morning? Almond um, milk and Weetabix and chocolate. Chocolate Weetabix and almond milk. Yeah, and these chocolate Weetabix, they're actually all right. Yeah. <laughs> he never had them. <laughs> they're all right. What? The lengths he goes to not to I get a carrier bag. bag. We get slated in the comments if we use bags. I'm a non-bag person. Daddy, you're in for a good night of games? Tell the dog. <laughs> The dog here. The dog's What's interested it? in games. Hotel for dogs. We're in the wrong dog. hotel. We want the human one. Oh, this is a posh room. <laughs> this is a posh room. <laughs> oh my god, look, 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 look. Sam and Jamie, welcome you to Travelodge. Sam and Jamie, that's so weird. I knew those two had been up to something. What? If anyone doesn't know, that's our big kids' names. Hey. Oh look, it doesn't doesn't take you I long. I can actually jump. 
Big jump, just jump higher. Yeah, see, told you, man. Remember the rules about hotels and beds and jumping? What are those rules, Daddy? <laughs> Do more of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want any trouble, boy. <laughs> that, whoa, be careful. You broke it. Yeah. The arrow. Doing. <laughs> Now thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. These guys are just tucking into some grapes. Big shout out to the lady who was at the shop actually, very nice lady. Chat to us, said she's going to watch the channel so if you're watching this, thank you. You were very nice. And I wondered what the hell we were doing with a camera. Yeah, weirdos walking around with a London accent and a camera. Big shout out too to Louis Self or Louis Self. You asked for a shout out from the mysterious Martin, don't know who that is. So instead I, Bob, will have to give the shout out. Thanks a lot for watching mate. Probably Louis, isn't it? Maybe, we'll see. If you liked this video and you're enjoying what you're seeing, give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel and you're liking these sorts of videos we would be absolutely privileged and over the moon if you subscribed you can do it via the red button what do you do to that red button though jojo right it's not lewis there's only one lewis around here jamie's old boyfriend let's not talk about him basically you can click the red button that's all you have to do or if you're on the laptop it is our good old friend garrett pinky that's garrett right pinky. garrett pinky really appreciate it guys i really appreciate all your comments and all of your time spent on this channel and we'll see you in the next video 5 p.m every day peace out Woohoo! No! <laughs> oh, steady on, man!